Beloved, you are faithful in all you do for the brothers and sisters, especially for strangers. They have testified to your love before the church. Please help them in a way worthy of God to continue their journey. For they have set out for the sake of the name and are accepting nothing from the pagans. Therefore, we ought to support such persons, so that we may be co-workers in the truth. From the Gospel according to Luke Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. He said, There was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And a widow in that town used to come to him and say, Render a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time the judge was unwilling, but eventually he thought, While it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps bothering me I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, Pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? Tutti proviamo un momento di stanchezza e di scoraggiamento. We all go through times of tiredness and discouragement, especially when our prayers seem ineffective. But Jesus assures us, unlike the dishonest judge, God promptly answers his children, even though this doesn't mean he will necessarily do it when and how we would like. Prayer does not work like a magic wand. It helps us keep faith in God and to entrust ourselves to Him even when we do not understand His will. The parable ends with a question. When the Son of Man comes, will He find faith on earth? And with this question we are all warned. We must not cease to pray even if left unanswered. It is prayer that conserves the faith, without it faith falters. Let us ask the Lord for a faith that is incessant prayer, persevering, like that of the widow in the parable, a faith that nourishes our desire for His coming. And in prayer let us experience that compassion of God, who like a father comes to encounter his children, full of merciful love.